We are getting oh so close to 30,000 subscribers here on Seahawks today. I think we're going to get there this week, but I need your help to get there. And when we get there, as promised, you ask for it. I'll deliver a Gatorade bath. Need 264 more subscribers to get there. If you're already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and type me. Show yourselves out. We love you. We appreciate you here on Seahawks Today, and we'll get started with today's show. Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. So glad to have you with us. Coming up on today's show, we will cover the latest Seattle Seahawks news and rumors, those involving possibly bringing in Cam Akers to the Seahawks. Also, Tariq Woolen has been given an award by the National Football League. We'll tell you what that is and dive into all that more in just one moment. We begin with Cam Akers, the young running back for the Los Angeles Rams. And CBS Sports has named Seattle as a top landing spot for the Rams running back. And what's interesting about all of this is you have a guy in Cam Akers that's not happy. He's not getting the playing time that he wants there in Los Angeles. And even though they won the Super Bowl last year, he's been kind of forgotten about. He's been kind of pushed to the side of sorts. And so where will he end up next? It does seem like the idea of him being traded within the division might be a stretch. But if he were released, which has been talked about, that seems like an easy move. And and one thing I'll say, too, before we dive into what CBS Sports had to say about this, I keep hearing people say, well, you already have Kenneth Walker. That's true. We're not saying that Cam Akers would come in and start over Kenneth Walker. Not at all, quite frankly. But in this league, you have to have multiple backs. Cam Akers would be clearly your number two back and would be a very good one at that. Here's what Cody Benjamin of CBS Sports had to say in regards to the idea of bringing in Akers to Seattle. No one likes a good run game like Pete Carroll, but with Rashad Penny out for the year, they could use another insurance slash complimentary option alongside rookie Kenneth Walker III, who's already proving, uh, providing explosiveness as a situ- situational ball carrier. Offensive coordinator Shane Waldron was the Rams' pass game coordinator during Akers' rookie year. So with that, trade, probably not going to happen because not only is it rare to have the intra-division trades, but do you really want to help out the Rams and make them better? Maybe not. Sign, that seems like an easy move. If he is released and becomes a free agent option, then you'll take him. You'll look at the Seahawks' backfield right now. Kenneth Walker III has been tremendous as a rookie this year. DJ Dallas hasn't gotten as much time as I expected him to to be a third down back option. He looked really good in the preseason, but hasn't really earned the playing time much. Uh, even with the injury to Rashad Penny. And then Tony Jones, of course, was uh, just picked up within the last couple of weeks. So with that, I would add Cam Akers if the opportunity comes about where he is available as a free agent. I don't know about trading for him, but I would add him if he's a free agent. So let's say, let's just say the word add. Forget about the trade or free agency aspect of it. Just straight up. Do you want Cam Akers in Seattle or not? This is our pin comment today. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it and let me know one way or the other. Would you bring in Cam Akers, A for ad, P for pass? Let me know. So let's get to know Cam Akers a little bit more here. Akers missed most of 2021 with a torn Achilles after starting three games in the Super Bowl run last year for Los Angeles. And... At the heart of the issue between him and the Rams coaching staff is philosophy and how he is being used, essentially, under McVay. And according to Jay Glazer of Fox Sports, he says that it's unlikely that Akers will ever play for the Rams ever again, that he's already played his last down. The career statistics for Cam Akers at this point in time, you go back to 2020, his rookie year, he was very solid with 625 yards, two touchdowns, 4.3 yards per carry. Last year, he got injured very early on, only played 
in one game, had five carries for three yards, but was a part of that Super Bowl run, came back in time for the postseason. And then in 2022, played in five games, had 51 carries for 151 yards and a touchdown with a three-yard average in the time that he's played this year. Now, let's go back and look at that playoff run that he was a part of last year for Los Angeles. As you can see, the numbers are not earth-shattering by any means. As you go back, his best game was that first one probably against Arizona or the San Francisco game. I mean, he, he hasn't been a true number one option necessarily, but he can be a really good number two option as far as I'm concerned when it comes to Cam Akers and that he's proven that he can be an asset, uh, quite frankly. Maybe not your number one guy, but I would see him as a very good complement to Kenneth Walker the third, potentially speaking. And you also have to think, too, are you going to bring Rashad Penny back after another injury? He'll be a free agent. Maybe this is your time to move on from Penny and go ahead and start looking towards the future with Cam Akers here, potentially. So, something to think about there. Today's show is presented by BetUS, the exclusive sports book partner of Chat Sports. If you go to chatsports.com slash bet, use the promo code Seahawks125, they'll give you a 125% deposit bonus. You put $100 down, you get $125 to spend for free, and you can even bet on this weekend's NFL action. You can bet on college football, NBA, MLB playoffs. The odds for this weekend, the Seahawks, about a touchdown underdog with a missed extra point in there. Six points is the margin with the Chargers favored at home and the over-under set at 51. Get your bets in now. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Seahawks125 to start betting today. Tariq Wollin was recognized as the NFC's Defensive Player of the Week this week as Wollin had an outstanding performance this past weekend, and he is on a tear. Let's put it that way. The statistics for Tariq Wollin of what he was able to do against Arizona, let me bring those up for you. I mean, the, the fact that he was this good and... He's, he's just a rookie, a day three selection at that. These numbers that you're seeing on the right of my screen here, on your screen, uh, to your left, actually, you would take those for any player. And, I mean, th these are numbers of all pro caliber corners here, folks. I mean, that's how good Tariq Woolen has played. An interception, five tackles, one pass defended. PFF grades, the nerds even liked what Derek Wollin put together with an 84.6 coverage grade and an 83.6 defensive grade. I mean, just outstanding of what he was able to do. And he's been getting better and better every single week. So then that becomes the next question I want to know. If he looks like an all-pro on Sunday, is that going to continue? Is this an all-pro season ahead for Tariq Wollin? Are we getting ahead of ourselves a little bit here? We might be. But I'm very curious. If he plays like he did Sunday, and we see more of that, I mean, four interceptions already. If he keeps those interceptions going, then we have to have that discussion. Can Tariq Wollin be an all-pro cornerback this year? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Let me know in the comments section if you think he can or not. Y for yes, in for no. More on the statistics for Tariq Wollin this year. Four interceptions, as mentioned. He also has two fumble recoveries. Already has scored a touchdown. 22 tackles in five passes defended. I mean, those numbers have been fantastic for him at this point in time. And then those PFF grades, here's where they stand right now. The overall grade, solid. 72.4, his tackle grade. I mean, and especially for talking about cornerbacks and tackling, right? I mean, a, a 76.2? Take that. Defense, 71.7. Run defense, 62.8. Need some work there, but nonetheless, everything else looks really good. The numbers do not lie on Tariq Woolen. He has been great this year, and even with that said, I still think his best football is still ahead of him, that the best is still yet to come with Tariq Woolen. There's... There's still some little things here and there that that need need work. But for the most part, 
it's all coming together for the Seahawks' young star cornerback. I'm excited. Seahawks fans, get ready. I mean, go ahead and lay everything out on the line. Go all in on the poker table. Put all your chips in on Tariq Wollin because he's been that good and there's still some more good football left in him. This isn't any fluke by any means. He's been the real deal. As always, you can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Tyler Jones Live, talking about your Seattle Seahawks on all those platforms as well as the rest of the National Football League. And I'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.